Hello everyone and welcome to this new webinar. Uh, once again, we meet on Sunday. This is the second part of the webinar. Uh, it's uh, at five o'clock. We already had a, a webinar at three talking about the undergrad uh, program at the School of Business Administration. سعيد باللقاء ديالكم سميت يوسف قصير انا خريج جامعة الاخوين وبالتخصيص نقدر نقول لكم بلا خريج سكول اوف بيزنس ادمنستريشن دونك انا سعيد جدا اليوم اننا نهضروا على سكول اوف بيزنس ادمنستريشن ونفتحوا الابواب ونجاوب على جميع الاسئله والتساؤلات ديالكم في هذه الفقره ديال ديال دابا غادي نهضروا على الماستر بروجرام اذا غادي نخصصوا الوقت الماستر بروجرام نهضروا على نهضروا عليه غادي نتلاقاو ايضا مع خريجي جامعه الاخوين اللي كيشتغلوا في في شركات مختلفه واللي غادي يتقاسموا معنا التجارب ديالهم Uh, I see in the chat section people who are saying hi again. If then there are people who are coming with us, we will meet them with them at 5 o'clock. Hello, welcome to you again. For the new people, we will be able to give you a little bit of an interface of experienceay.com. As you can see, there are three tabs. On your uh, on your right right of your screen, can chat. There is a general discussion. Send a copy. Can also the friends are going to put there the address email, the address email, the link, the site. On the basis of that, they are going to put there. Because they are going to get the information in the chat section. We are going to also do a quiz because we are going to ask you questions during this webinar. And we will see if you are interested in us or not. ويمكن تربحوا معنا دي سويت شيرت ديال جامعه الاخوين كنا نقدروا نشوفوا التصويره ديال سويت شيرت ديال ليفرستي الاخوين اللي غادي تفوزوا به هو هذا في هذه الصوره اذا تركزوا معنا طوال هذا الويبينار نطرحوا اسئله والاول اللي غادي يجاوب في الشات سيكشن ويل جيت ذا سويت شيرت كاينه السكند تاب اللي هي الكويشنز وهي مخصصه للاسئله اذا علاش عندنا تاب مخصص للاسئله غير باش نعزلوا ما بين جنرال ديسكشن And uh, and questions. We can go and see the questions with ease. We can go and answer them with ease. Also, but there are some questions that will be asked during the live. There are some questions that will be asked to people directly in the question tab. And we will try to answer all the questions for you. Some polls were conducted. Some polls. The answer. We have the joy of coming to you for this webinar today. We will start with the question: Dean Wafa Al Garrah. معنا تكون معنا دكتور هند البداوي من بروجرام اكاديميك بروجرام اكاديميك كوردينيتور تكون معنا ميس نهيله جويده وز تالنت سورسر اند اكويزيشن سبيشاليست ات ليتن ويكون معنا ميس حكمه بالفقي اللي هي ريجيونال برودكت مانجر ات 3 ام ودكتور ماري غريس نيفيل هو از ان اسوسييت بروفيسور اوف مانجمنت اند مستر مصطفى الخالدي هو از ا كونتري اتش ار مانجر ات جابانيز مونتي ناشونال كومباني دي غونا شير ذير اكسبيرينس دي غونا تراي اند جيف يو از ماتش انفورميشن از بوسيبل اباوت ذا بروجرام سو ويزاوت نو فورذر ديو ليت ستارت ذيس ويبينار اباوت ذا ماستر بروجرام اند اي هاف ويز مي دين وفاء الجراح هيلو هاو ار يو دكتور Doing wonderful. Thank you again, and uh, Yusuf, for for animating this uh, webinar. Uh, welcome, everybody. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for this uh, episode about the graduate program and most specifically the the full time MBA program. Uh, so I'm very delighted to actually be here with you to share with you some insights about Alahawan University and the MBA program. So uh, for your information. Uh, the School of Business Administration is one of the largest, actually, schools at, within the Ahawan University, because as you know, AUI has three schools and SBA is the largest in the number of students. We offer undergraduate, graduate level programs, and at the graduate level programs, we have the full-time MBA, we have the part-time MBA that is offered in Casablanca. In the heart of Casablanca, in Technopark, we have the part-time MBA, and I think we will have a future webinar dedicated to the part-time MBA. Um, you know, but you, you're welcome to ask your questions. We will address them even in this webinar. But the focus today is on the full-time MBA that is offered on our campus. Uh, it's a program that helps you not only develop your business mastery, but also to build your leadership skills. Uh, 
So the focus here uh, is on the leadership skill development and the program, though it is a general business administration program, it does come with specializations. You can specialize in finance, in marketing, in management, leadership, and in general business, okay? So now the question that one might ask is like, why al Akhwain University MBA and not, you know, other MBAs, okay? First of all, um, is the accreditation, okay? Accreditation of the program by the Ministry of Higher Education here in Morocco, uh, because you should remember that al Akhwain University is a public, not-for-profit university. We're not private and we're not for profit. We are public, not for profit, which makes us so Okay. Now, what does that mean? It means that your MBA, once you graduate with an MBA program, it gives you access to PhD programs here in at the universities in uh, Morocco for a PhD without needing to have the equivalency. Okay, and that's in itself, it's it's an advantage. Okay, so access to PhD programs in all public universities is very uh, easy. Okay, that's locally, but also it gives you uh, a, uh, uh, access to uh, PhD programs also internationally, okay? <clears throat> Why? Because the MBA program is a recognized, um, you know, a program worldwide so uh, as a second reason if you like is that given the fact that mba just the word mba is recognized wherever you go whether you are in japan whether you are in brazil um you know whether you are in you know in south africa you say mba people know what you mean okay uh, so there is that worldwide recognition in the program itself now why al akhawain university mba because with al akhawain you have a personal brand okay you're branding your mba so it's not just an mba in itself but it's an mba of al akhawain university which is a prestigious university a top ranked university here in morocco and this is based on the qs ranking that has been uh put in um uh, actually Akhawan University as number one for the last five years consecutively, okay? So we've been number one um, on this QS ranking and that shows the quality of the education and the quality of the programs that we offer. So first reason, accreditation. Second reason, personal brand, okay? With Al Akhawan University MBA. The third reason is our pedagogy, the innovative teaching methods. At the master's level or at the MBA program level, we do have, uh, we use extensively the Harvard case study method. Now, and we use also what we call the flipped classroom. And um, I think uh, uh, Professor Mary Grace Neville will be addressing some of that later on in this webinar. But just to tell you a little bit about what this is, is basically you are exposed to real life examples. So with the Harvard case study method, you take on the role of the decision maker. You take on the role of the manager of that or that executive in order to solve the problem that that manager or executive is facing in their organization. Okay, so innovative teaching methods. And the fourth and last reason I would give you for choosing Al Akhawain MBA is the network, the strong alumni network. Becoming a UI alum gives you access to a great global network. We have alumni all around the globe um, and we have actually uh, good connections or good, uh, um, you know, interactions among the uh, alumni of al Hawaiian University. They help each other, even if they don't know you, even if you've been, you graduated this year and you happen to meet another, grad, another graduate of al Hawaiian University who graduated 10 years ago, you know, the connection is very fast. And alumni, they hold each other's hands um, and they help each other, you know, in jobs. They help each other in, uh, you know, uh, answering questions. Let's say, for example, you want to go to, uh, 
there is an opportunity in Dubai, but you're not sure where and how, well, our career development uh, center can put you in touch with an alumni um, in Dubai and you can talk to her or him directly and get the insights and you know and you can connect very very easily so the four reasons remember accredited program access to PhD is very easy worldwide recognition you know because it's an MBA and you have personal branding the Akhawain MBA innovative teaching methods and a strong alumni network. Now, uh, also remember that our mission as a School of Business Administration is to educate you to become successful managers and read, uh, leaders with a local and a global perspective. Our business is definitely your success. Exactly. Over and to I, you, Yusuf. It's, 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 it's well, well put. I mean, uh, it's four points and uh, it's straightforward. I, I see some people asking questions on the chat. Uh, tab, please uh, make sure to ask your question on the question tab so that we can retrieve them. And I think the question uh, asked by Ismail Yaqubi, why should I, uh, why should I uh, choose your school and not one abroad? I think uh, Dean has already, uh, Dean Lagara had already uh, answered that question in four major points. And remember, special Al Akhawain branding. This is something yes. you need to keep in mind. Okay, uh, Dean, uh, if you if you don't mind, I will keep you with me throughout this uh, sure. webinar. Uh, we're gonna move on a, a little bit more. Talk about uh, more about the MBA uh, program specifics of uh, the full time uh, MBA uh, program. Uh, as some people might be interested in the part time MBA in Casablanca, unfortunately, we're not gonna address that today. But stay tuned because we're gonna have. Uh, episodes, and we already talked about it on a, on a master's program special. If you that you can rewatch on experienceaoi.com, but we will come to it more in detail also in near future. So make sure to stay tuned, experienceaoi.com, and register for upcoming webinars. So now we are gonna. I'm uh, happy to invite Dr. Hind Elbedawi, who is a program. Uh, who she is a program academic coordinator. And she is going to talk to us about the full-time MBA and give us a clear overview of the program. Um, that's true. But before going to the MBA program, do you know, Youssef, that uh, with the COVID pandemic and the, its effect on the economy, uh, now with the market, uh, the job market slowing down, um, higher education latest reports are emphasizing the role that the grad school might be uh, playing in helping students uh, shooting their um, dream job at the yeah. Akhawai University is um, um, uh, offering one of the best in the uh, programs that would help uh, people like Nuhaila or uh, Hikma or other AUI alumna embrace their uh, dream job. Uh, yeah. So I prepared um, a very quick presentation about our grad program. Yes, and we will have the presentation right. Exactly. So the full-time MBA program, um, uh, as uh, Dil Garah mentioned earlier, we have three forms. We have the full-time, part-time, but also the executive MBA. Uh, in this webinar, we will only focus on the full-time MBA program. So this MBA program is open uh, to students from different under, uh, for different background, like uh, holding an undergrad degree, and it doesn't really need to be um, like. Um, uh, uh, business uh, degree. Um, this MBA program will help students aspire and become successful managers and leaders in the global economy by educating them the broad scope of business administration by also helping them develop general knowledge and abilities. So the MBA program is not only a general uh, program, but it's also helps students who want to uh, have an in-depth knowledge in some uh, specialization also delve deeper in some specialization that I will be talking about later on. So our full-time MBA um, uh, program, beside being held in a very beautiful uh, campus of a very beautiful uh, city, Ifran, will help students who are joining in, um, help them make the best decision um, uh, or help them or assist them in their decision-making process by helping, by enabling them to use techniques um, 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 and also 
also tools that will uh, enable them to make sound managerial recommendations. The communication is key uh, nowadays, so uh, the MBA program that we have here at Al Ahwan University will help also students to professionally uh, work and uh, embrace different teams. Management is also uh, on the table, managing groups, but also individual behavior. We have behavioral, uh, like um, uh, uh, organization behavior that we are teaching here at Al Ahwan. The leadership with capital L is also one of the outcomes that we are trying to have in our alumna. Um, this leadership will help them solve complex business problems. This, all of these points cannot go without an ethical behavior. So we are making it sure that our students um, uh, live in this um, uh, kind of ethical dilemma and make it sure that they have a socially responsible uh, uh, behavior wherever they are, be it here at Hawaiian University throughout the different courses, but also when they are in the job market. But it's also about making sure that we are um, uh, educating and training the leaders of tomorrow that can help in designing and evaluating local and global strategies. Um, our faculty, as mentioned earlier, are uh, world-class uh, faculty who are coming from different backgrounds, international um, uh, training, uh, but also our students have the ability and the opportunity to go abroad for the semester or so in order to uh, you know, like um, live in different culture, but also le learn in different contexts. So we have this uh, different exchange programs. So our students have the right or can choose between different concentrations that we offer, like a finance concentration, they can go for a marketing concentration, they can also opt for logistics and supply chain management concentration, but they also can go for a general business um, uh, MBA where they um, craft their own uh, concentration with maybe a course from finance, marketing, logistics, and also leadership. This is not the only concentrations that we are offering because we believe in one thing in AUI, Kaizen, which is this development, uh, this continuous development that we want to have in our uh, school. So we are also open up for different concentrations that will be announced very soon. So after joining an uh, MBA program, students will start with some core programs, of core courses like managerial accounting, economics, management, decision making, organization behavior, strategic management in global markets, uh, managing information system in organization, but also advanced marketing management. So these are core courses that we believe all our students need to go through. And then they can move to the next stage where they will be picking their uh, concentrations. Students who do not have um, a, a, like a business background, and I can tell you like we have many students from uh, so, uh, like uh, humanities background, uh, from engineering, but also from biology and um, uh, pharmacy. So these students will have the opportunity to go through other foundation courses that will help them be on the same page with other candidates. Uh, like they have the um, opportunity to take courses uh, about accounting, economics, uh, finance, principles of marketing management, but also some quantitative and statistics courses. After graduation, we are glad to see our alumna uh, uh, omnipresent in different companies worldwide. Um, uh, so uh, many of our uh, alumna will um, join uh, like um, uh, multinational companies, but they also can join uh, government uh, uh, companies or uh, private sector companies because um, this is uh, uh, like a, um, a degree, the MBA degree that they get um, has equivalency already. It, it doesn't really need the equivalency because it's already a government um, degree and this degree, the MBA degree, will also allow our students just like, uh, like um, um, Nuheila uh, to pursue their PhD uh, studies and we have many of our uh, alumni now doing their PhD or teaching in different universities after getting their uh, PhD uh, worldwide in different uh, parts of the globe. Um, so yes, uh, le programme est étatique, c'est un diplôme d'état, notre MBA, uh, so this is why um, uh, 
um, it depends on the choice of our uh, alumna, whether they want to embrace the uh, job market or go ahead for uh, research. And uh, one last thing that I want to wrap up with, and I'm proudly saying that, majority of our MBA theses are converted to high class uh, papers that are published in very um, uh, famous uh, uh, papers, uh, uh, journals. Uh, by the way, HICMA is one of uh, the students uh, for whom the, her paper or her thesis was yes. converted to a publication. And and we're going to meet uh, with her uh, shortly, uh, actually. Yes. Uh, Thank you very much for uh, this uh, really thorough uh, presentation of the of, of the program and see like all these uh, different options uh, for for prospective MBA uh, uh, students and then maybe it's time for us to move on to uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Grace Neville. Hello. Hello. Good to be with you today. Good to have you with us uh, today. Hello, Dr. Ahmad. Hi. Thank you. And Dr. Dr. Neville is connecting from. North Carolina in the States. Oh, okay. Hope it's not too early or too late. I don't know. It's right about noon. So we're right in the middle of the day. Okay, yes. perfect. So, uh, uh, Dr. Mary Grace Neville, I will uh, let you take us through the uh, some specificities of the MBA program. Well, one of the things that I'm excited to be able to, to share a little bit about is how we teach so that we're addressing how people learn. Because I'm sure many people ask sometimes, why should I go get an MBA when I can work and get experience, right? And there will be people who say to you, you know, don't, don't bother getting more school or education, work and learn. So both are true. And, and what's interesting at al Hawain is we're working with students on applying skills and knowledge. So having work experience really helps you learn how to think about business frameworks differently than simply learning in a textbook. For example, I worked in the equivalent of the, um, the, the social sector for five years and seven years in the corporate sector. What happened when I did my own MBA is that I was no longer learning simply by reading a book. But each time a professor would introduce a theory or a framework, I was able to ask, hmm, how does that fit with what I did when I was working? Hmm. And so the messages and the insights and the ability to learn and think and develop can really grow rapidly, different from either just reading a textbook different from being an undergraduate student without formal experience in the world and also with a partnership with your professors in a different way than being in a baccalaureate program so part of that is is advertised as the case method or harvard case method and and really what that means is in in the real world what we talk about business world no one will ever have enough information to make a really solid decision. You, you always have missing parts to your information. Yeah. And at the same time, you always have to learn about and, and adapt to variables from what the textbook is going to say. So learning with the case method is to say, working with your peers and working with professors taking established sets of information and learning how to think through very particular subject matter questions or issues, there's often not a right or a wrong answer. There are often three really good different answers. And how well you articulate your answer or how well you support your answer is actually what makes the difference in reaching the 80% that Hikmo was talking about. So at 80%, what does that mean? Do you have the right answer as you might in undergraduate? Or does it mean you have very solid thinking? And so in the world where everything, whether it's COVID, whether it's the um, technology around us, whether it's financial markets, everything is constantly changing. It's more important that you learn how to rigorously think, analyze, and support what you believe than it is to actually memorize information. So that's the essence of what we're trying to accomplish. 
and that's uh, exactly like the, the the spirit I think uh, and the, the, we talked also about this in the undergraduate program it makes us more independent individual and better uh, decision makers doesn't make it, it doesn't mean that we make the right decision all the time but we're consistent in analyzing what's uh, the environment because the environment is changing and we used to say that a lot maybe a decade ago but now it's uh, almost done in this webinar but i would like just to recall a few informations um you can re-watch of course this webinar for those of you who join us maybe uh just now or missed some part of this webinar you will fi find the full replay on experienceaui.com but we also uh, share it on our youtube channel uh, lahon university youtube yes. channel so you can check that out but make sure to go to experienceaui.com and also uh maybe have a look at the previous episodes for other things that are interesting i see a lot of questions that are not maybe in particular toward this uh, actual webinar but uh, we've talked in uh, in other webinars episode uh, about the undergrad program we talked about financial aid we talked about scholarship we talked about uh, uh, admission we talked all about mm -hmm. these technicalities which are really important information you should uh, sure. have so you can rewatch uh, rewatch them and stay tuned for other other uh, other webinars coming in uh, the future uh Dina, thank you very much for being here. i see you you thank are you. helping us in the webinar but i see you typing on your keyboard because yes exactly you answering answering questions. <laughs> exactly you're answering the questions multitasking exactly and that's really good i was just i i i would like just to share also a little uh we talked a lot about the international uh experiences and how we get to do exchange program which is really interesting for any uh, student as an experience and we get to have at the university people from different background uh, uh, and different countries but what we forget usually to say is that me after graduating from al Akhwain, i now have friends in all morocco sometimes mm -hmm. we tend to think like because i am from casablanca i would know people from casablanca maybe in rabat but after going to al Akhwain, we meet people from all around yes. morocco and today exactly. whatever i go in Maghrib, yes. اصحابي ديال الاخوان اللي كانوا معايا في اخوين في الخميسات في الكناس فاس في وجده في طنجه اكزاكتلي في ورزازات يعني كنلقاو الناس من اتس فيري امبورتنت اولسو بيكوز ان اور واي اوف ثينكينغ ان اور واي اوف انالايزينغ بروبلمز از يو نو ذير از ذا سينغ وين يو ار ا هامر يو سي اول بروبلمز از نيلز ثانك يو فيري ماتش فور يور تايم ثانك يو ثانك يو اول people who are who have registered i hope we we gave you enough uh, information i would like to conduct a last poll before we go because now we're wrapping up this webinar after this information session what do you plan to do are you planning on confirming your application apply to the mba of aui seek more information about the bachelor degree or compare AUI mba so if you could give us these informations uh, here on the poll section that would be really helpful uh, make sure also to share this uh, webinar with your friends who might be interested and missed it don't miss the next one it's gonna be next sunday same time and this one this time we're gonna we're gonna see your neighbors uh yes indeed <laughs> we're gonna visit your, uh, your neighbors if you know of friends who might be interested if you are interested make sure to register now so that you uh, can be with us next uh, sunday uh, and uh, well, i'll be delighted to 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 have you all thank you once again <laughs> happy sunday for everyone uh, I wish you a very nice beginning of uh, the week uh, and see you next Sunday.